Today I wanted to show you how you actually add a vCenter server and an ESX server to SCVMM so that SCVMM can manage it for you. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we are connected to vSphere and we're connected to the ESX host itself. As you can see, I'm running the eval versions of the VMware software. To add an ESX host to SCVMM, we go to the administration page, virtualization managers. And here we can add a VMware virtual center server. We'll add the computer name, then we'll be sure to provide an administrative account that can log into the vCenter server. Since vCenter is running on a Windows server, I've added that Windows server to my domain so I can just use my domain credentials. And here, I'll designate that I want to communicate with the ESX server host in a secure mode. If I don't check that box, then all of my communication will be in clear text. And now it'll go out and identify the vCenter server and add it to my environment. So now when I go back to hosts, I see that I have my ESX servers group added. And then I see that I'm adding an ESX1 host. So this is the one ESX server host. And as you can see, my status is limited. Limited means that I haven't provided the credentials to connect directly to that ESX host. So now I can go in here and configure security. And when I get to the host properties for the ESX host, this is where I'll need to put in my credentials for each ESX host that I'll manage. The other thing I want to do is make sure that I retrieve the certificate and public key. This will enable my secure communication between SCVMM and the ESX host. So I'll accept these. And now the next job, which will actually plug these credentials in, plug in these certificates. And as you can see, now my status is OK, no more limited. So to remove the limited designation, we need to ensure we have the credentials for that specific ESX host. And now when we move over to our virtual machines, we'll see that we have a virtual machine on our ESX host. It may take a few minutes for the virtual machines on this host to actually show up in this list because once a server is added, then Virtual Machine Manager has to go out and query for all of the virtual machines. So give it a few minutes, but then you'll see that your ESX host shows up here. And now, as you can see, your virtual machines now show up under your ESX host as well. Keep in mind it may take a few minutes after you add the ESX host to SCVMM for these machines to show up because SCVMM has to go out and query for them. Now we see that we have this virtual machine. We can move up to all of our hosts and see all of our virtual machines. Now you see that we have this virtual machine and if we move up to all hosts we can see all of our virtual machines running on all of our different hosts including this one running on the ESX server. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Again, thanks for your time and I hope you have a good day. <music>